Hello friends, in the previous video I told you the definition of proportion and how to represent it. So in this video we will see some facts about the proposition. As I told earlier, proposition is an equivalent of two ratios. So let us assume we have a proportion of four numbers A, B and C and D. So A by B is equal to C by D. So this is the proposition. Sorry, proportion. Okay. So A by B is equal to C by D. So this is the equivalence of two ratios. So then the same can also be written as B by A equivalent to B by C. The same can also be written as B by A is equal C by D by C. So this is called as inverse tendo. Inverse tendo. So this is called as a inverse tendo. So if we have A by B is equal C by D proportion, then the same can also be written as A by C equivalent to B by D. So this is called as alternando. Okay. Alternando. This is called as alternando. If we have a proportion like A by B is equal to C by D, the same can also be represented as A by B by B equivalent to C plus D by D. So this is called as component. This is called as component. Okay. So if you have a proportion like A by B is equal to C by D, that same can also be written as A minus B by B equivalent to C minus D by D. So this is called as dividendo. Dividendo. And this same proportion can also be written as A plus B by A minus B equivalent to C plus D by C minus D. So this is called as Componendo and Divinendo. Divinendo. So these are the some of the facts of proportion. Okay. So whenever we have a proportion, we can use all these alternatives to this proportion. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.